f35 lightning 2 has many components that are designed with a state-of-the-art technology one of the most important but often overlooked one is the generation 3 helmet mounted display system HMDS that's used by the pilots of f-35s the helmet is jointly developed by Rockwell Collins and Elbit systems of America and comes with a four hundred thousand dollar price tag it brings in unprecedented capability enabling an excellent link between the man and the machine facilitating them to work as one the f-35 gen 3 helmet mounted display provides an interface that enables the pilot to keep a tab on all the relevant information in real time whether it's a close-range dogfight or a beyond visual range engagement the HMDS has a major role to play in this video defense updates analyzes why the new generation 3 helmet for f-35 is nothing like anything else let's get started this video is sponsored by war thunder if you are like us fascinated by military vehicles and technology I recommend you give war thunder a try it's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC PlayStation 4 and Xbox one with cross-platform support it has a huge variety of more than 1200 playable aircraft tanks helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s which you can take to battle on land in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war war Thunder has been kind enough to offer all defense updates viewers a special bonus which will grant you a free premium tank aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below so take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world the Lockheed Martin f-35 lightning 2 which is a single seat single engine all-weather stealth multi-role fighter is undergoing final development and testing by the United States the Pentagon began the f-35 program in 2001 with an aim to develop a cost-effective replacement for the US military's f-15 fighters f-16 and f-18 fighter bombers and reconnaissance aircraft and a 10 close in support warplanes apart from the United States the primary customer and financial backer the United Kingdom Italy the Netherlands Canada Turkey Australia Norway and Denmark are also part of the program many other nations like Japan and Israel are also deploying the fighters the nine major partner nations including the US plan to acquire over 2,000 f-35s through 2035 which if delivered will make the f-35 one of the most numerous jet fighters so it can be said that a lot is riding on the f-35 lightning 2 the f-35 has three main models the conventional takeoff and landing f-35a the short takeoff and vertical landing f-35b and the catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery carrier based f-35c on the 2nd of August 2016 the US Air Force declared its first squadron of f-35 a fighters combat ready the fighter aircraft are expected to remain in service till 2050 f-35 is developed from the ground up to be stealthy its external structure is designed to deflect signals away from the emitting radar which makes it harder to detect or track this is done by having no sharp edges or protruding elements and having a smooth external curvature also it has a coating of ram radar absorbing material that reduces the number of signals getting reflected f-35 has a very low radar cross-section classified techniques have also been used to reduce the heat signature of f-35 this thermal profile management of the jet makes it difficult for infrared IR homing missiles to target it but one of the lesser known but equally important aspects of the f-35 is the helmet the gen 3 helmet mounted display system is considered to be the most advanced helmet in the world according to Rockwell Collins the helmet accomplishes this unsurpassed visual technology through a combined head-up display HUD helmet mounted display and visor projected night vision everything from airspeed to target information is presented right before the pilot's eyes the older helmets use LCD liquid crystal display 
These had the issue of bleed through from backlighting, which resulted in a green haze. The HMDS uses organic light emitting diode OLED displays, which do not have the issue of the green glow. It's also more responsive and customizable for pilots. It's interesting to note that each helmet is 3D milled to custom fit each pilot. The data is stored so replacements can be ordered seamlessly. The custom fit ensures the alignment of the pilot's eyes and helmet displays is precise, which reduces fatigue. The helmet uses a tracker to tell where the pilot is looking at any given time, and then the distributed aperture system DAS's 360 degree real time video augments the vision in both eyes. The same technology is used to enable the pilot to aim their weapons just by looking at a target. This is a critical capability, as it could be the difference between a kill and a near miss. In an age where planes fly at supersonic speed and the response time needs to be as low as possible. Also, the HMDS enables night vision without the need for separate goggles. Rockwell Collins lists the following features that make the helmet a friend of the pilot. 1. Revolutionary situational awareness. The next generation user interface serves as the pilot's primary display system, and virtual capabilities enable them to see through the bottom of the fuselage or directly at a target. With an uninterrupted display of flight information and sensor data, the pilot experiences extreme spatial orientation, superior weapons targeting, and tactical superiority both day and night. 2. Integrated HUD Display and Night Vision the head-up display HUD, helmet-mounted display, and visor-projected night vision are fully integrated to provide pilots with unprecedented capability in the fighter cockpit. They can target their weapons and maintain advanced spatial orientation while continually monitoring critical flight information. 3. Biocular display system with full day and night vision. Advanced biocular 30 by 40 degree wide field of view has 100% overlap. For night missions, the HMDS projects directly onto the visor, eliminating the need for separate night vision goggles. 4. Visual targeting The HMDS enables the pilot to target weapons by looking at and designating targets. And target verification when receiving steering cues from onboard sensors or via data link. 5. High performance design with optimal center of gravity. The lightweight design has an optimal center of gravity and active noise reduction. ANR. The custom helmet liner ensures precise fit and comfort for reduced pilot fatigue. Recently, it was revealed that U.S. Air Force will get 450 new F-35s. This has been made possible after a record $34 billion deal between Lockheed Martin and the Department of Defense was reached. The multi-year contract has laid out plans for the jets to be delivered in lots, the first of which will be 157 jets. The contract will reduce the price of F-35A to around $80 million per jet. Under Secretary of Defense for Acquisition, Ellen Lord said in a statement, This is a historic milestone for the F-35 Enterprise and marks the largest procurement in the history of the department. He added, I'm proud to state that this agreement has achieved an estimated 8.8% savings from Lot 11 to Lot 12 F-35As. So it can be said that the F-35 program is slowly but surely finding its way. The HMDS will play a very important role as the F-35 see more and more operational deployment and possible combat missions. Pilots of American and partner nations will certainly be helped by the HMDS as they engage rivals in complex scenarios. The technology will keep them one step ahead, especially against China and Russia who are deploying their own fifth generation fighters. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this.
hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.